Okay, what we have here is a Schwinn aluminum, aluminum, as they would say in England. Uh, last year made in America. Schwinn mountain bike. It's all aluminum frame. I got this in Gettysburg. He was a really cool guy there. Uh, I used to be a food purveyor. And he traded me some food towards the cost of it. I think originally it was like 400 some dollars, but I traded him some you know, seafood and uh, he was a VW guy also. Um, there's just some other bikes I got. Uh, so the Triumphs and a Harley. I'm going to start that this weekend, I guess. And a uh, 55 Oval. Everything's nice. But anyway, we're working on this right now. And uh, go tuning up because it's been a while since I've used this thing. And what I like to do, as you can hear it, is just add a little bit of 3 1 oil. It doesn't really have to be a vintage can like this one. Oil today, I guess, is the same as yesterday. Just add it liberally, even if you're a conservative. There's a little bit of surface rust on that chain, it's old. And what we'd like to do is go through all the gears. So, it's a 21 speed, 7 in the back, 3 in the front. It's an elliptical crank, as you can see. Uh, this front sprocket. <laughs> I guess that was pretty revolutionary. But let me uh, put the cam down and go through these gears quick. Okay, that's what you want to try to avoid is hearing any rubber and on a chain on metal. We'll address that after we put it through. Looks like we got it going to. A little jumpy there. Yeah, a little jumpy there. And then I want to address that. Ooh, man, that's light. Should be good on that. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of a rubbing on the front of the railer. There's an easy adjustment to that we'll take care of. It's like it goes through all the gears pretty easily. Got another drop of oil here. Some people don't always oil their chain, but I, I find it to help it last a lot longer. There we go, folks. Take this out on the road tomorrow. Probably post a video. Looks like it really took it up and go. Huh? Wheels seem to be aligned. If not, I got a true wheel back there buried, believe it or not. But, uh, yeah, this bike stand's pretty, pretty nice object to have. It holds it. I got it from the church. I gave him a donation, so. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow. You want a quick tour? That's my daily rider out there, and that's 72. Uh, the 66 is out of Dave's. And that's a 83. That's a 55. And we have a 67, a 70, and a 73. Some miscellaneous parts, nothing of great value. It's cheap junk, whatever, but uh, I like it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll probably see you uh, on the flip cam tomorrow. We'll get this beast out on the road. I'm going to take care of a little bit of this metal rubbing, and uh, hope you're enjoying your Friday. Talk to you later.